Hey guys, welcome to the OpenX Studios video. <clears throat> I'm outside. Excuse me, I have a sinus infection, so. As you guys probably saw the, the video, if you haven't, go check it out. Link in the description. Uh, our Buick over there has uh, been crunched, as you can kind of see the hood over there. So this is our rental car. It is, if I remember correctly, a 2000... Uh, or, excuse me, it's 2000. God. I, um, 2022... Volkswagen Tigon, and it's the Type R trim, so it's the highest level trim. And uh, I'm gonna go do an overview of it. Very attractive front. Um, so this is the front end of it. <clears throat> Big Volkswagen logo, probably houses an ultrasonic sensor. You've got an ultrasonic there, ultrasonic there, camera there, um, ultrasonic there. Another one right there. Same thing over here. Another one there, another one right there. Um, auto adjusting headlights, I'm pretty sure. IQ light. Nice looking headlights. Um, I don't know if these <clears throat> I don't know if these are the um, normal tires, but the rental place at least give a Scorpion Zero all seasons by Forelli. Popping into this over here. Go ahead and open up the hood. It's on hydraulics, so you can just put your hand here, lift up, and it lifts it up. A little dirty. Um, here's the inside, here's the coolant. Windshield washer fluid reservoir. These definitely are auto adjusting headlights because they are absolutely massive. I mean, that's still the headlight there. The engine, um, I guess it is an eight cylinder. Yep, eight cylinder. Don't know about the liters or anything on it, but one, two, three, four. Yeah, whatever. It's an eight-cylinder engine. Don't know how many cubic inches or whatever. I could look it up if I cared. Good oil, obviously. It's probably fleet maintained. Oil filters there. This isn't weird. This is the engine coolant there. Oil filling reservoir. That's a bunch of EVAP crap there. Um, don't know if it's turboed or not. Yeah, it might be. It might not be. It makes good power. It's a V8, obviously, so... These headlights are huge, though. Fuse panels here. With the fuse puller. It's always nice to have. Those end up missing all the time big battery uh 12 volt 70 amp hours 700 amp en series blah 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 oh it's got that hydro thing on it whatever the germans call that if it goes yellow it's bad or whatever a brake or whatever that is but it's a nice engine bay it's fairly big vehicle control info um takes r123 yf refrigerant for the coolant hopping into the driver's seat we've got memory profiles fully digital instrument cluster there in USB-C ports, one there, one there, cigarette lighter, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, glove box, pretty spacious, I think this is for um, SD cards, manual, their dealer sort of thing, the insurance, flashers are there, headlights are here, with parking lamps, um, Nice steering wheel. It's like a textured airbag. Um, 
the only thing I don't like is piano black. You can see it's uh, streaking. Other thing with this is, these are not real buttons. They are haptic feedback. It's just a slate. I don't like that. I want physical buttons that click. Whatever. Uh, turn signal, obviously. Something here. I don't know what this button does. Um, it corresponds with that symbol. Let me know if you guys know. I could look at the manual. Automatic headlights. Day runners. That's manual lights. Obviously, brights. Pull that for weather lights. Um, nice big brake. Nice gas with the um, kick down so I can press it all the way down. And if I go past resistance point, there's like a button. You can see how it kind of moves a little bit more maybe. So that's all the way down to the floor right now. If I push it a little bit more. There's a button that I'm pressing. And that like down shifts it. I can't shift this because I don't know where the parents put the keys to it. But you've got... Um, uh, it's not Steptronic, I don't think. But you have manual mode. So you got park, reverse, neutral, drive. And then if you pull it down and drive, it goes into sport mode. And then you can push it over and manually shift it. It's got drive selecting modes here. Um, again, I can't do any of this stuff because I don't know where my dad put the dang key because he used it last. It's got a pretha of... Can't do that. It's got a lot of assist features. It's got the camera up there. And it's got um, forward collision assist and um, lane keep assist. Side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, frost cross traffic alert, as well as um, adaptive cruise control, which is here, set, change the speed, resume. And um, it's got a heated steering wheel. You got your nice R logo there. This little pocket here, these cup holders, I actually really like. They've got these like spring doohickeys here, but they really grip your cups. I mean, that's a water bottle. It does a good job. The biggest center console I've seen in my life. Look how big that is. You've also got um, your climate control here. Again, all touch, no buttons. Um, again, piano black, white. Um, got ventilated seats, heated seats. You've got a Fender audio system, which sounds absolutely killer. Solid doors. I love opening and closing these doors. In the back seat, you have got a ton of room. Let me adjust the front seat to me here. So that way we can really figure out. So that's for me now. Jumping into the back, you can see there is a ton of room. I can like fully extend my legs in the back of this thing. It's incredible. Or I can sit normally and still have, I mean, I'm bending out of the back of the seat. Nice, comfortable, full leather seats, nice seat belts. These flip up. Rather than being on a thing like our car where they like flip down and you have to like pull the seat off and to get, it's great. Um, rear climate controls. This was broken when we got it here. Uh, you turn it off and on. It's not controlled separately. It's whatever temperature up there is. One USB-C, 12 volt outlet. This little cubby here. They have the all weather floor mats in here. Nice like uh, stretchy pocket there. Again perforated leather seats you've got all led lights in the entire car and you got this little hook which i presume is for like a net or maybe clothing but you've got a hook here for i don't know you can turn the lights on and off there um nice solid latches up for the doors all of the windows on this car are expressed down you can see there's one click second click that's expressed down one click Two click and express up. You got your power lift gate here. 
where's the hook thing? So coming into the rear, you've got plenty of trunk space. They do not sacrifice your trunk space for your interior cargo space. You've got this mat here, which is like Velcroed. Under here, you've got the floor mats that the dealer put in there. Your full-size spare tire. That's for... Um, that's the subwoofer, I think. Yeah, fender baseman. So that's the subwoofer there. The big subwoofer. You got your scissor jack, your jack tools, all kinds of little things. I don't know what that is. Um, you've also got, I'm just trying to get this back in here now. You've also got these here, which fold the seats down, which is pretty nice. Uh, I assume these seats come forward. I don't know how. There is this bar here. here. You got tweeters in the back. Nice big cargo space there. Big center armrest with cup holders. Enough to rest your whole arm on. You've also got a uh, Pamoranic. Pamoranic. I can't speak to my nose. Y'all know what I'm saying. Pamoranic. Um, Sunroof here. Again, can't control it because I don't know where the dang key is. But there's a screen that goes all the way in the front and it opens all the way up to here. And it tilts also. Your gas cap here. Thank you guys so much for not using that stupid, oh, just press it in, doohickey. They suck. Thanks for giving me a gas cap. And thanks for letting me just do that with it. Thank you. Thank you so much. There is also a rod that comes out of the back over here yeah somewhere over there there's a rod somewhere i think it's in the back that locks this when you lock the car um this is kind of neat i like this you've got a um privacy shade here that's like retractable it's pretty cool it does come out if you like pull up on it i actually put it in there but that's pretty neat that is retractable like that. Um, 12 volt outlet in the rear. That's something that I really like. You also got a light there. Um, this apparently, I didn't see it. So I guess it didn't come with it, but there is an option to have a power outlet in here. Just tie down there, tie down there, probably for a cargo net. You've got a roadside assistance kit here. This is an option, I think. Gives you some sticky, tight, like, mechanics gloves. First aid kit with the whistle, electrical tape, bandages, a rescue blanket, trash. Um, there's the warning triangle. So this car does come with warning triangles. I'll have to figure out those later. Desiccant. P emergency poncho. Uh, like a flashlight that you squeeze to charge it multi-tool or something here maybe yeah nice multi-tool zip ties they give you three better than none yeah i mean it's <sighs> velcro put all of our stuff back in it's got like i said power lift gate um That's our emergency stuff. And there's two ways you can close it, which I found out about my mom doing this. You can just pull down on it and it will close. I don't like doing that because you ride the motors, which isn't good for them. It will close or you can press the button. Now, one thing I don't like is in on the interior, you've got this button here. Guess what it does? 
Well, obviously it opens the trunk. But guess what you can't do? Close it. It doesn't press down, it only goes up. Holding it, nothing. It just opens it. Why can't I close it? I would honestly rather be able to close it than be able to open it from there. But you know, nice wood grain finish in here, nice leather padding. Uh, I don't know what this paint is called, but I really like it. It's a grayish blue, nice metallic flake. As you can see it there. Nice tinted windows, like you can see me there. Obviously legality, the front has to be lighter, which it is. Um, it's got a nice tint to it, so that's looking out the window from the rear right into that sun over there. And that's looking out the window in the front. A little bit brighter, you can tell. But this is a nice car. It's got drive modes, park assist, um, auto start stop. I freaking hate that. But if you want, you get good for you. Uh, automatic wipers. So you can just, I don't know why it's not in that. But you can just leave it. In. Don't know what that does. Why does that move? <laughs> but you know what? But that's for the rear. You can just leave it on number one. So that's off. That's intermittent. That's one wipe. You just leave it there on automatic. That's your sensitivity for it. Um, this car has 19,562 miles. Um. Two built-in USB-C. Hundred ninety-five thousand miles on it.